What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Unbelievably stoked today. The Tesla semi truck event was last night. They've unveiled the future of the trucking industry and a bunch more surprises. I'm so like so much energy right now. I'm gonna break it down the event for you guys, let you know what happened. Let's get right into it. Tesla unveils its semi truck last night. First thing to note, they did not tell you the official price point, so I have no idea how much it costs, but you can reserve it today for five thousand dollars. This thing is gonna have up to five hundred miles of range. It looks incredibly badass. It beats the performance of the traditional diesel truck on a ton of different levels they're setting up an infrastructure called mega chargers which are very similar to their supercharger network for consumer cars but have about 10 times the power and can recharge 400 miles of capacity for the semi truck in just 30 minutes i mean these are just mind-boggling numbers this truck has a drag coefficient of 0.36 don't really know what that means but it's apparently unprecedented for the trucking industry and even better than a bugatti that's what they showed on stage like i don't know how that works but that's just crazy to me this thing can go from zero to 60 in 20 seconds with a full payload leaving diesel trucks in the dust additionally they mentioned that up a five percent slope it can go 65 miles an hour this is about 50 percent faster than traditional diesel trucks electric has an amazing article breaking down all this info i'm going to put a link to it although they didn't include the final selling price they do did include a comparison operational cost of the tesla electric semi versus a traditional diesel truck we're looking at a dollar 26 to operate the tesla truck per mile versus a dollar 51 to operate a diesel truck so they're telling you off the bat this is going to be saving you money they do indicate on their website that they expect to have a payback time of just under two years for the Tesla semi and have fuel savings of $200,000 plus. Additionally, they threw in an, another interesting tidbit, which is a convoy technology, which is where the, te the trucks follow each other on the highway. And this method is even dramatically uh, cheaper at operating and hits 85 cents per mile versus $1.51. So only about half the price of tr traditional diesel transportation. I'm just so excited because the entire thesis here that we've been pitching, like I made a bunch of episodes on the Tesla semi. My biggest thesis is not only is this going to disrupt trucking, make it safer, make it cleaner, make it cheaper, but it's going to dramatically improve the paradigm of what trucking can do so much. That's actually going to be competing with rail. That's right. So this is a bigger opportunity than the S or X, maybe even combined. Why? Because I don't think they're just trying to go after the truck market. I think Elon is actually going after the rail car market here as well, because he says in master plan part two, it will make these trucks significantly cheaper to operate than anything else on the road. Literally, as I'm watching the semi event, Elon Musk says the same thing and says, we're going to take market share from rail. I mean, the trucking industry alone is hundreds of billions of dollars in the U S rail is equivalent to that size. It's like this, the opportunity for Tesla to be a freight company is perhaps just as big as for them to be in a consumer car company. And we're seeing the first glimpse of that product line with the semi truck everybody's hating on tesla in the press for like how are they going to pay for this where are they going to build it they say deliveries are starting in 2019 for this truck they're probably going to be late who cares the bottom line is this is such a new exciting paradigm for the entire trucking industry man i'm just i can't even um put into words how excited i am another thing i was expecting from the event was for them to announce big name partners because they were saying that they've been working with partners on the semi truck to develop it to meet all their specification requirements they didn't announce any partnerships at the event which i was kind of bummed about and i was like dang but this morning cnb see literally like an hour ago before I'm filming this announced that Walmart is testing the Tesla semi truck. This is epic because it was in a moonshot Monday in August that we said that Walmart was likely to be one of the first partners that, so I guess it's not really a partnership, but Walmart's testing these. And if you think about it, it makes a ton of sense. I think Amazon's going to be next. These companies are in a fight to the trenches for consumer dollars on e-commerce. If they can pitch that they're delivering packages more sustainably and eco-friendly, I think that is a huge selling point. Both Amazon and Walmart have such large trucking fleets that it makes a ton of sense for them to just buy a couple semi trucks roll this out see if the economics really work and at the same time run a marketing pr campaign and saying look we're using electric trucks to get packages to you in a green efficient way this gives tesla exposure to riding the growth in e-commerce industry because now they're the backbone for the shipping and logistics infrastructure like so much excitement going on right now um the truck is going to be hooked up with a bunch of autopilot and autonomous driving capabilities much like tesla's cars are although if they can actually execute and pull that off who knows the other thing i wanted to say is genius marketing at this event like the the way that tesla you know all they did is throw an event invite a bunch of people then put this on the internet i mean the live stream didn't even really work i had to like find a U youtube live stream because their core one was like crashing because so many people were on it which is and kind of embarrassing for them, but another story. I'll let it slide. The level of free marketing that Tesla gets from this, okay, they throw an event, maybe a couple million dollars. It's all over the internet. Every single tech blog on their front page, number one article is the Tesla Semi and the Tesla Roadster. Every business person on Twitter is tweeting about it. Every YouTuber that's in the tech Tesla community is making as many videos as they can about this. Tesla isn't paying for any of this press. It's all incredible coverage. It's all for free. Millions of people are tuning into this event. They didn't pay a dime 
time to distribute that content. Additionally, it's a cash infusion. They're not gonna build the semi for another two years, but they're collecting cash flow from it for in, in the form of reservations starting today. If they sell 50,000 uh, semi truck pre orders at an average price of 5,000 a pop, that's 250 million in a cash injection for Tesla. Not a huge amount, but definitely doesn't hurt either. Just a quick back of the napkin calculation for you guys. If Tesla sells 50,000 of these semi trucks at an average selling price of 200,000 per truck, that's 10 billion in incremental revenue from this uh, opportunity alone. And remember, there's several hundred thousand class eight semi trucks in the US sold per year. And even though you might think, oh, well, Tesla doesn't have the full range. It's very interesting to note that 80% of trips with class eight semi trucks are under 250 miles. So Tesla could take a huge piece of this market, but even so I'm getting ahead of myself. If we assume a gross profit margin of 25%, that's 2.5 billion in incremental gross profit to Tesla. That would be bigger than all of the gross profit they did last year alone. I'm not modeling this into my financials because I think it's too far out. Let's get real. They really need to get the model three out and make it this, the smashing success that they keep claiming it's going to be that I think it will be, but they haven't executed on that. So interesting to see the timing of this semi event come before where they've ironed out all those issues. The skeptics, the shorts, the haters, they're all gonna say that Tesla's getting way ahead of itself. This is just a mega distraction to raise capital, maybe, but I also think Tesla's truly unveiling the future of the trucking industry here. They're getting hype, they're generating pre-orders, they're doing this for the trucking industry, not for the shorts, not for you and me. How do I think this unfolds? So I think in the next couple months, we're gonna start to get a bunch of info start to pop up on the size of Tesla's order backlog. They're gonna say we got thousands of reservations worth you know billions of dollars worth of orders already, massive backlog, it's already sold out to the year 20. 2021. Then we're going to get a much better gauge of demand for this thing to see how the reservations stack up. I mean, this is a totally different product than a consumer car. The trucking industry is all about economics. And that's why the people that are likely to take the first bite on this are companies like Walmart and Amazon and FedEx who have massive trucking fleets that can afford to, you know, beta test a couple semi trucks and then leverage that as a marketing PR strategy to say, Hey, we're shipping things green. So that's what I th think is going to roll out. I don't think this is going to have any meaningful impact on the financials until 2020. Maybe we see them have to spend a couple billion to either build out capacity within a current factory or some new gigafactory. I'm sorry if I have too much energy in this episode. I'm just like trying to convey the info. Like the world should be stoked. Like we're all buying things on the internet. That means there's more and more trucks on the road than ever that are using burning diesel and fossil fuels that are polluting. This is just a huge issue that we need to solve. And Tesla unveiled the future of the industry, all electric. Even if they don't sell a million trucks that change the world, they have catalyzed the industry to start thinking about electric trucking. They're making a ton of smart people who would have never thought about trucking and analyzing the sustainability of it to start looking into it, to start asking more questions. They're putting pressure on every single other trucking operator to step their game up and be more sustainable. This is a great thing for the world. I think everybody, regardless if you like Tesla or not, should just be so happy. I'm just inspired to see that this is what the future looks like. It's not only does it look sexier, not only does it go faster, but it's more sustainable. The planet needs this. Thank you, Elon. Thank you, Tesla. Now iron out your Model 3 production bottlenecks so you can actually build this semi and it doesn't stay a concept car forever because I can't wait to see these hit the road. Mini Moonshot Monday to end the episode is Walmart just announced their partnership. Woo! I think Amazon Prime, like they're gonna be like, ooh, Amazon Prime members delivering with the Tesla Semi. I get, like, I just, I think it's a no brainer that Amazon beta tests a program with the Tesla Semi truck. So we'll be seeing that happen in the future. That's my recap of the Tesla Semi event. You know, I'm gonna be keep putting out videos on this because it's just too epic. Thank you for tuning in. Comment, subscribe. Like, tell me if you think this is gonna be a mega flop, mega success. How many billions in revenue in Tesla in gross profit and earnings is Tesla gonna get from this? Like, love to hear your ideas. That's Hyper Change. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.